All right. Ranking every single mint circle on the copyright sounds. I find this so cringe and so weird. <clears throat> this song should have not been released. Easily the worst mint circle on the label. 1.5 out of 10. It's probably the worst one on the label so far that is labeled mint. Why Why did Dev Kev de decided to make this? Why did he decide to make this song? Like, like, this did not need a part two. Like, the original one was way better than this. The vocal performance. Sandy Hawks. Uh, the vocal performance. Was actually not good. Def, uh, why did no copyright sounds accept this one? Two out of ten. Drop. It's just pretty bad, not gonna lie. Alright, so... Okay, so, this song, I just don't really listen to it that much, but the vocals actually do, uh, do pretty good for this song. And, I don't even know why he, and why no copyright songs labeled this glitch hop. It sounds like Future House. But this song gets a solid 6 out of 10. Alright, Halverson's debut was probably the best debut in 2015. So, uh, this song gets a gets a 9 out of 10. Halverson is the best vocalist and producer in the world of no copyright sounds. Anyways, let's check out. This one here. This song gets the same score as She Got Me Like by Halverson, which is 9 out of 10. So let's check this one out.
This guy's voice sounds sounds so similar to Justin Bieber's voice, which was kind of funny. Nine point five out of ten for that one. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Now, this is way better than the part two. Like, Def Kev, you probably should have not made a part two to that song. But this one is definitely the most nostalgic one of them all. Ten out of ten. It doesn't come close to this. This one is definitely the best mid circle on the label. Like, it's definitely way better than. It's definitely way better than. than his other stuff, Rob Gazer. This is probably his best that I've, that I've heard from. 10 out of 10. Anyways, that's it. Subscribe! Re.